In my previous videos to do with the Hanamex E300, I've done a retro unboxing, had a look inside the unit, then the seven inch screen arrived. And now I'm gonna show you how I stripped out all the components from inside the box. First off, we can remove these arms. So these were for the reel to reel. I'm not bothered about having those in the final build. So we can take those off, just unscrew those and then pop the, uh, the other bit of screw back in. Then just remove the transformer by desoldering the wires. Unscrew it. There's just a short cable to clip off. Then we'll unscrew the clips that retain the, uh, the Fresnel lens. And there's also a sheet of glass there. Need those removed. We'll get rid of the mirror at the back. That was easy. And if we take the front off, there's another small mirror here. That can get removed. We're looking in pretty decent shape. That gives us a nice empty box to work with. We'll use a rotary cutting tool to remove these little stubs here. Now that those are gone, we need to think about fitting the screen. So the screen is a bit too wide. So we need to look at this bit down here and uh, make some cuts into that piece of metal. We use the rotary cutting tool down there. If we look around the front, thankfully it's not going to come through in a visible area. We're going to put a cover back over this bit. The rotary cutting tool makes quite a good job of this. The gap is a bit wider than I thought it would be, but that's not a bad thing because the screen is a few millimetres thick. You can see here, there's the gap that we've made. A bit untidy, but it's around the back. And there's the gap down the side. Here's a quick mock-up of the screen and the display area. We have to compromise a little bit here. So if we turn it upside down, we get a lot more of the display showing through than we do the other way up. And then finally, we've got the main socket. I've rid this straight into the original lead uh, and moved the earth off the case. In the next video, I'm gonna put in the rest of the electronics and the display and we'll nearly be there. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you wanna see what happened in previous parts, check out the playlist. See you next time.